Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Here I am with another great, great video. Uh, this is the video number nine or number 10 related with this uh, 1960, a Ford Ranch wagon. Yes, video number nine or number 10. I have created a playlist. That way it will be easier for you to watch them and enjoy all those videos. On this video, I will show you how you can wrap the center console. I am not going to show you the whole process, my friend, but I will give you a big idea how you can approach, how you can do it. Uh, I have to make some cut, I have to use some tool. I am not going to show you how you can remove out of the car, but I will show you how you can wrap it and prepare with leather. So let's just dive in. I have it right here on the table. I will add those two cup holders on there. And I will raise a little bit with wood that lift of the center console why i have to raise up a little bit well because if i put the center console without the wood the center console will uh, hit a plastic on the bottom and i don't want that to happen so that's what i'm going to add that wood in there it's a three quarter of an inch thickness uh uh ndf wood as you can see i am cutting and i will screw it on top of that lift of the center console simple so I put one wood screw, I put another one wood screw, and how many wood screw would you put? Oh, well, uh, whatever it is necessary. Then I get the pneumatic uh, snap-on grinder, and I uh, tape a little bit those edges, and you can see it. Then I divide it by two. Uh, first, you have to figure out where the center console, will, uh, where those cup holder will be. Uh, I will uh, separate these pieces because it will be easier for me to make those holes. So I will divide it and I will uh, put those cup holder on there. If you have to move a little bit, I will uh, without any problem. So it is easier and simple. You can buy those in the console on Amazon. There are a lot of places online where you can buy it. Just type it on there. Uh, cup handle console, aluminum, stainless steel or plastic and you will see a lot of play from from you can buy it, buy it. so i'm putting those wood in, in there some of those screws i will remove it later because i will make some hole in there and this is the the circular uh, blade that i will use it i make one hole already and you can see it so simple and so easy i cut the wood and i cut the metal and there you go. So the customer don't want to see those cup holder from inside. And I understand that part. Me neither. I will make like a box. That way those cup holder will be inside of that box. I cut some pieces of wood. And I'll add a, a wood glue. And I put some staple. And you can start having an idea how that will be, right? No big deal. I am using this wood. Over all that wood will be wrapped with a strong lining material. You can see it go in there easily. It is kind of loose, but keep in mind that I will wrap it with material, so it will increase the size a little bit. And I put the other front and back small pieces with the staple. Then I get the pneumatic grinder and I start sanding all those uh, sharp edges and make it nice and smooth. Okay, I got that piece. Now you, I think now you have an idea how that this will be. I will add a small piece of wood in there and you might ask why? Because I would put some uh, uh, quarter of an inch thickness ball, three inches or two inch and a half. And I will hold that wood box with those screw in there. So how I will hold it? I just right now I put a wood screw, but I will remove that wood screw. You can see I'm making a hole. I will put two small, uh, two and a half inch by uh, one quarter a small ball in there. You can see it. Okay. Just put those nut in there. I will tighten it. And this is how that will look. 
and then I just put some knot behind and I will tie that way that uh, will look like that and you can see it going easily right there we got it so now I going to uh, put a quarter of an inch thickness closed cell phone on top of that part of the center console I'm going to wrap it with closed cell phone first and then on top of that I will uh, wrap it with a uh, leather from Relique put in enough glue make sure to put it uh, divide it equally and then I will trim all the excess phone I put glue on the side both sides And this is one eight thickness close cell phone, and I will wrap that metal, the center console, with one eight thickness close cell phone. I put a lot of glue on the metal, then on the close cell phone. Then I get the phone and start gluing into the metal creating pressure, made the phone follow the shape of that center console and you can see it. Not a big deal, right? And then I cut it around the edges on the bottom and same thing right here on the top. And I give it nothing extra, I am not folding, I just cut it exactly right there. Then I use a block to sand all those edges, and you can see it on the bottom, especially. And same thing on the top, just to give you an idea, and that way you can see it. And same thing on the that part of the center console. I will get a big block. That way it will be easier. I want to kill those uh, sharp edges. I want to make a little bit rounded. A little bit, not that much, just a little bit. Okay. And you can see it, part of the process. This take time. This little detail take time, like preparing the part, make those holes for the center console, uh, put those cup holder, try to figure out. That take time. Take time. Cutting the material and wrap it, that's easier. That's the easiest part of everything. That take time. And you can see, it will have that beautiful crumb in there. Then, when you have everything prepared, you have to start figure out where you're going to put those stitches. If it's gonna be a uh, regular stitch or top stitch or frame stitch, you have to figure out. Sometimes the customer give you an idea uh, what kind of stitch that he want, and sometimes you have to ask the customer. So we had uh, we have uh, put some mark where those stitches will go, and then you have to start cutting the material. I always recommend if you are kind of short on material 
or the material that you're going to use is so expensive that can be leather, can be fabric, can be vinyl. Always make a pattern. I am making a pattern from scratch and you can see it. I glue them into the, the part of the center console. Then I start putting a mark, drawing. That way I don't waste the leather. Then when I draw it, I just remove the old material, uh, the material and I do the same thing on the back with a small piece. This center console, I will wrap it on three pieces. So left and right plus the back, that's three pieces. Uh, so simple to wrap it. And right here, you can see how the back piece will go. And there it is. I put those mark in there. Those mark will be like notches. Just a, a guy when you are going to put a sewing together. And you can see I give you a extra for the seam allowance. Sometimes I give you a quarter of an inch and sometimes I give you like on this case half inch. Then I give you some extra on the top and on the bottom. I had those, this pedal board ready, so I will take it to the leather, cut the leather, and I already cut it, you can see it on there. I didn't show you, because basically it is the same. You get the pedal, you put the uh, leather on the table, and then you put the pedal on top, and you trace it, and then you cut it. Simple. And there it is. You saw me cutting a white, uh, like a gray uh, piece of vinyl there. Then with that vinyl, I come and cut that leather. Then I take it to the table. All will follow those marks, those notches, always. Uh, all those marks have a purpose. And I am sewing those two pieces. Then after that, I will uh, put a, a French stitch. Okay, I almost done sewing these two pieces, and here I come with the uh, French stitch. Sometimes you uh, you see me using like a guy for uh, to put this kind of stitch, but this this time I am not using nothing, no accessory, just a standard presser foot. And sometimes you see me uh, doing this on the post machine. With the post machine, it is so easy to do it. It's a double needle, post machine. And I got the first stitch, I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side of the stitch. After I done with one side, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And there it is. I will take it to a table and I will put glue right here on that leather and I will put glue, a lot of glue on the center console. Just put enough glue and let it dry so you can see the amount of glue that I am putting. Maybe through the camera you don't see it uh, a lot, but I do put a lot. Then I come to the center console and I apply glue all inside first. The last will be the outside. You can see me putting glue. The holes are hooked to the container. And you can see that hose where that glue gun is connected, it's 50 feet long. Just imagine, 50 feet long. Cost me like 400 and something, those two holes, the black and the red. More than 400, I think. Then after I apply glue, I bring it to the center console. First thing that I have to make sure is to put those stitches exactly on top of the black line. Exactly. Why? 
because the third part of the center console will have same French stitch and those stitch it has to match no matter what. So I put it and then I start uh, pulling the leather and right with my hand, make sure no wrinkle, no air bubble, nothing at all. Any little uh, mistake that you notice or detail, try to fix it before you keep going. And you can see it right there, my friend. I pull it, then I glue it. But I make sure to be beautiful from the outside. And there it is, one side. Same thing on the other side. Same thing. I will put the video a little bit faster right here because it is almost the same. Just saw me doing one side. Basically, the other side is almost the same. And you can see now I am wrapping the glue in the inside. The most important thing is always the outside. Always, always the outside worry about how the outside look but uh, sometimes the customer pay attention to every little detail eh? uh, try to uh, make a nice finish on the back too even if it doesn't show from outside that uh, tool that you see me using that is a bone and it come on the BMW C3 when I replace those real window, just a window, they send that part with the real window. And I have a lot of those kind of thing. In case if you don't have that kind of, it's like a spatula, but if you don't have it, use, you can use the back part of the teaspoon or a fork. And I cut it all around. You might ask him, why are you cutting all around? You don't supposed to fold it. No, right there, no, because a plastic will be on top. And same thing on the other side. Why I made those cut in there? Well, I made it those cut because a screw will be in there. A crown will be on the, from the outside, but I have to see where the hole it is located in order to put some metal click. I just made some cut on here. And same thing right here. So this chrome will be in there. I have to clean it really good. And the plastic will be in there. You can see how it's changing completely the way how it looks this center console. Now metal will be on the front. I'm going to rub the metal at the end, but I'm going to concentrate him on this part. First, I, ho I have to make this cut. I'm going to uh, make the inside first. And I am making those cuts because it is easier to make it right now than try to make it later when you are gluing it. 
Okay, I will draw a line. Why that lane? Because that lane will show me uh, what is flat and what is like uh, facing up. I put glue and I will put glue inside of the center console too. The plastic, that is a plastic, not metal. Put a lot of glue in there. But first I clean it. I sand it too. I didn't show you, but I sand it and I clean it. That way that glue can stick a strong in there. Then I get this strong lining material. This is a strong lining material. It stretch a lot too. I was thinking to put a stitch in there to create like a box, but I think like this would be fine too. The glue, it is put a lot of glue. And you can see I can't cut all around even. So I came lay I came to this uh, part of the center console. Under that leather it is a black lane, so I just put that mark on top of the black leather. And I just put the part facing down. And right here, it's not a square. This is stitch not going exactly around the edges. It's going a little bit lower than, than the edges. And you can see them right there. I got the part. Then you have to trim it all around, giving for the seam allowance, whatever you, I always give like half inch. Once in a while, I'll give you a quarter of an inch and once in a while give it three quarters of an inch. But for this job, it's half inch for the seam allowance is more than enough. So I got that part. Then I will make a pattern for the outside. Why? Because it's not a straight piece and I don't want to waste this leather. So I just put glue, hold that vinyl in there. Going to make a cut because I will put a stitch on those corner, and right here I will put glue just to hold that binding in there. Make cut in there. Okay, then I get the other side and same thing, glue it. and glue another piece on the side and start doing the same thing, tracing. And you can see it a little by little tracing that piece. A lot of people use plastic to make a pattern. Uh, with and with plastic it is way easier than using a fabric or vinyl. Why? Because you can see where those marks are located, you can see the line that is behind, you can see everything. That's why it is easier. In case if you don't have it, you can use pine or you can use fabric. Now I separate those pieces from the center cones. I cut it with the seam allow and put all those marks, make it obviously on the binder.
I fold it by half. That way I'm making sure both sizes are uh, similar. And the same thing right here. After that, I take it to the sewing machine and start sewing those pieces. Make sure to follow those marks that you put them on in case if it does notch, it doesn't match by a half inch, that's a lot. So try to fix it, correct any mistake. If it doesn't match, let's say by a less than a one eighth of an inch, I expect to you, but try to make it match. As you can see, I am cutting on there on that corner. Why I cutting the top piece? Well, because I want the top piece to mold easily to the bottom piece. If I don't do that, maybe we'll create a wrinkle, or maybe I will force it too much and will uh, distort the bottom piece, and I don't want that to happen. And I almost done with the simple stitch. After that, I bring this uh, part of the center console cover to the NC post machine. Way easier. I can do the frame stitch on the regular single needle machine, but with this one, simplifies everything. And you can see it. That guy. It make it easier to have the control and the stitch will be straight and will be faster. Will, it will make you so efficient. So I done with that French stitch on my NC post machine. I bring this piece to the table and put glue out there. And you can see it. Putting glue and I will do the same thing on the cover. Same thing. I get it, I try to put it flat and I put glue. I will put glue all around. Then I put them on there and I start putting the cover. Do not create any uh, pressure or glue until you are not 100% sure that that cover is placing right. Placing it straight. You are making sure it is straight, so you, then you can start gluing on the bottom. See, right now I am pulling, making sure it is straight, doesn't look crooked. Then I start gluing the outside. Then I cut all the excess leather. I don't want nothing to be in the way of those cup holder. And there it is. I will put a trunk lining on the bottom just to make it look nice because I don't like the way how it look right now. Oh, on there will be a, a the wood, like a box that I made it, but I want to put something on here. I want to look beautiful that part, even if it doesn't show. And I'm putting glue on this front lining.
I'll close the trend line and you can see me trimming all around. And kind of right here, this part is not going to show you because the wood will be on cover that part. Part of that, especially where those cup holder hole will be. But I have to make those holes. All the way the cup holder is not going to go in. And I got just two holes. Then I just cut them on the top. And I will put glue and I will glue it. So I to, I'm going to make a lot of cutting on there because I want to uh, glue in like that. Let's put the cup holder. You can see the cup holder is going a little bit tight. That's fine. It was loose at the beginning because that let it make it uh, increase the size. So I, just, I didn't show you how to wrap that piece of wood. Then I'm going to push small washers with the knot holding that piece of wood. It's kind of hard in there because it's not enough room. You even cannot put a ratchet and tie those knot. I am trying to tie it with my hand. Then I will use a, a wrench. And you can see how beautiful it looks. So, this metal click will be in there. A crown will be around. And in order for me to hold that crown, I have to put this kind of metal, like a click. And it have a lot around. So I am giving you an idea. I didn't remove this click. I didn't remove uh, that crown that is going to be all around. But this center console had those crumbs. And you can see him on there. You can see I have to adjust that chrome in there because I can still see those click, part of those click. I tie that part. So this will be in there. I have to put some screw to hold that plastic too. A nice screw. It's a little bit tight, but this will be, will be fine at the end. I am wrapping that metal with leather. This is the easiest part, the hardest part is done, my friend. I can't believe it. Uh, I record all my footage was around like four hours. More, a little bit more than four hours. And right now it's almost 36 minutes video. I put it fast because I know I can put a little bit faster than how it is running the video right now, but I'm pretty sure you will get it. I screwed that part, and now this crumb will be in there. I had to clean that crumb really good and tie them into there. And you can see it. that would be a dying. I will put, it, put another part in there, but you can see it completely how this thing is. Look. A lot of patience to put that crown, believe me, a lot of patience. I put the center console, then I made like a, a board and I wrapped that board with carpet and I put a beautiful, beautiful um, banding around and you can see it right now. I I has to cut a little bit. I don't know if you see that black on the front part of the center console. There is a black metal in there that is showing. I have to remove the carpet panel and cut that uh uh, metal in there, but it look beautiful. Look beautiful. It's kind of heavy too because it is metal, and you can see the cup holder. It's a little bit tight because I open it, and you can see he still have a space to put thing under there. He had the cup holder. I made like a bag for the cup holder, and he still have a space to put something on that uh, center console space. Take time. This take time. But no matter how, how much longer it will take you, you have to charge enough. We are here on this base, on this business, on this trade to make money. We are here to make money. 
you can see those screws. Those, those are the kind of like original screw. And I tied it right there. It's almost done this project, eh? Almost done. I have to almost done. Just do one more video for the front door panel and so stay tuned my friend for the rest of this project. Hey my friend, I showed you on this video how you can wrap the center console with leather, relic leather, expensive material. I showed you on here. You saw how it was at the beginning. You saw me cutting, you saw me making some uh, changes. You saw me uh, sewing and wrapping with the material. You saw like 80%, I think. I giving you a big idea in case you never done something like this. Um, it is impossible for those who are barely start doing this, working on this tray. Not impossible because nothing is impossible. Maybe it will be so hard for you. But the secret of all this thing, the secret of all this thing, it is a practice. You can watch the video one, two, three, take time. You can uh, know my video just by memory. But if you don't practice it, it's not going to make sense. Watch the video a few times, then go and try to practice it. If you're, um, uh, you are having trouble sewing, okay, before you start doing working on a center control that will have a stitch, go to the machine, jump into the machine, and start practicing sewing. Sewing, sewing, okay. Do you know how to sewing? Not perfect, but you already know. And you are having trouble cutting wood, okay. Before you start uh, cutting wood for the center console, center console, go and practice cutting wood, cutting wood, using your scissor. Practice it first, practice it. With practice, you will get like a little bit of experience, you will get a skill, and you will make everything easier later. So thank you, my friend, for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And hit that, is my, uh, hit that uh, like button. Thank you so much, and see you here on the next video. Bye-bye.